Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The latest issue of Greg Pak's Darth Vader series was recently released, and as I've come to expect with this series, it was another excellent installment. I can't lie, reading this issue and Star Wars number 6 back to back was a baller ass ride. Let's dive into Darth Vader number 5 and see what the latest issue has in store for the Sith Lord. Picking up where issue 4 left off, Darth Vader is inside the tomb of Padme Amidala, standing before his love's grave. Sabe protests with Vader to not desecrate the late queen and senator's grave, but Vader doesn't look Listen to her. As he uses the force to open her grave, we see that he recalls his time with Padme on Naboo during Attack of the Clones, as well as when he was force choking her on Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith. Darth Vader then opens the grave slightly, allowing Z67 to run a scan inside, finding a med implant which is stamped and traceable. This of course provides them with the location of the Palos Massa medical facility where Padme gave birth to Luke and Leia. Outside the tomb, Sabe hails the Amidalans to inform them where Vader intends to head to next, and Vader Vader's death troopers prepare to kill Sabe before she can tell her group of fighters Vader's next stop. Vader, however, stops the death troopers from killing them, telling Sabe to inform the Amidalans to meet him at Palos Massa. My thought is our boy knows he's gonna explode once he visits Palos Massa, and he wants to make sure he'll have someone to take his anger out on. When Vader and company arrive at the facility, they see it's run down and abandoned, as it was once used as a base for the Rebel Alliance before it was discovered and bombarded by the Empire. Once inside, Z67 is able to obtain a hollow recording of when Padme arrived at the facility after Darth Vader had lost his duel to his former Jedi Master. As Vader discovers this, he recalls the moment before his duel with Obi-Wan, where the Jedi Master appeared before the Sith Lord at the entrance of the cargo hold of Padme's ship. The Amidalans soon show up to the party and begin their attack against Vader and the Death Troopers, but it goes as well as you might expect. As Darth Vader and the Death Troopers make short work of the Amidalans, the Sith Lord is reminded of the moment where he violently lashed out at Padme and force choked her, which then makes him remember his loss at the hands of Obi-Wan and the gut-wrenching quote from the Jedi Master, you were my brother Anakin, I loved you. Yo, that part in Revenge of the Sith breaks my heart every single time I watch it. Ewan McGregor never fails to make me want to cry in that moment. Z67 and Darth Vader then continue in their pursuit to find answers and make their way to the maternity ward of the medical facility. Z67 discovers that the data core in the computer terminal has been destroyed, which of course infuriates Vader. After Vader throws the forensics droid with the Force, a Troon Tan B-Machine midwifery droid awakens and Z67 is able to access the droid's memory bank. A hollow recording of Padme giving birth appears and they can hear her utter Obi-Wan's name. After Z67 states Obi-Wan must must have been important to Padme, Vader erupts and slices the forensic droid in half. The hollow recording of Padme can then be heard uttering, there is good in him, I know, referring to Anakin. As Vader looks down at a destroyed Z67, Padme can still be heard saying, I know there still, before we see an image of Darth Vader at the Tabana facility on Cloud City, where he's falling down the shaft and transitioning from a Sith Lord to a Jedi Padawan and then to a young Anakin Skywalker. Just so damn good guys. Vader then returns to Korra and his Sith Master, Darth Sidious. After Vader tells Sidious that he settled his business, the Sith Master tells his apprentice that the Sith know that fear leads to anger, anger to hate, and hate to strength. Vader, however, has been wallowing in his grief during his recent journey, which prompts Sidious to use Force Lightning against his apprentice, telling him that he must start over again, beginning with fear. And that's where the issue ends. If you've watched my breakdowns for this series before, you know by now that I absolutely love this comic. Greg Pak has done such a phenomenal job at showing the sadness, loneliness, and even the most minuscule sliver of light that resides within the Sith Lord. Like with Charles Soule's Star Wars series, Pac's Darth Vader series is supposed to help bridge the gap between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, showing Star Wars fans how Vader went from wanting Luke to turn to the dark side and become a father and son Sith Lord tandem to sacrificing himself and defeating Sidious to save his son. As we saw Vader hear a hollow recording of Padme utter, there's good in him, I know. We're seeing the good in him ever so slowly begin to bubble and start to surface. We're seeing the moments that will lead to Darth Vader calling Luke's son by the time of Return of the Jedi. His encounter with Luke on Cloud City was the beginning of the end of 
of Darth Vader, and the beginning of the rebirth of Anakin Skywalker, which is why we get the images of Darth Vader falling down the shaft on Cloud City and transforming back into Anakin Skywalker. Greg Pak has absolutely hit a home run depicting that in this series thus far, so shout out to Greg Pak for killing it. Additionally, I can't help but enjoy the moments where Vader has flashbacks to events that happen in the prequels, as well as his flashbacks to his moments on Cloud City in Empire Strikes Back. Not only does it help hammer home the anguish that dwells within Darth Vader, but it beautifully ties together the events of the prequels with the original trilogy. Insert Chef's Kiss here. Darth Vader number 6 will drop on October 14th, and Star Wars recently dropped some panels for that issue on their Instagram, which shows things are going to pop off between Vader, Sidious, and the Imperial Guards. Additionally, the cover art for Darth Vader number 8 has also been released, which depicts Darth Vader encountering the Eye of Webbish Bog. During a panel at Comic-Con at home in July, Greg Pak said that the next arc of Darth Vader will tie in with the sequel trilogy, and I speculated that Darth Vader would be traveling to Exegol, so my theory is starting to look like a strong possibility. But what do you guys think about Darth Vader number 5 and Vader's story up to this point? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.